Okay, hello, and welcome back to SideQuest Dilate Dampe's Twilight Tour. Managed a whole four words without messing up. Um, this is Retsum19, and with me I have... Captain Trina! Um, and we're... Donations. Oh, yep. And we're going to be playing some uh, Graveyard Keeper. Uh, this game is maybe a little less well-known. Um, it is a very spooky game, so it fits as marathon. Um, I like to call it uh, Stardew Valley, but edgy. Um, I get in trouble for that description sometimes. Uh, or Starlet, Stardew Valley, but with a more of a crafting emphasis. I like to say my elevator pitch for this game is if you played Stardew Valley and said, I like this game, but I really, really like the first year, this might be a game for you. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, get us going with a new file. Some plot at the beginning. After the loading screen. Do, 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 do. Ah, it's an ordinary day. Our hero is hurrying home, or someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and for feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. And Truck Coon from stage left. Yep, Weebs, this is an isekai. What happened? Where is, where is everything? Uh, calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? Yeah, unlike an isekai, he actually wants to go home, so sorry. There's always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. Title drop. But I need to get home to my love. You need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Gary. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? What a strange vision. Okay, let's find Gary. Okay, go up here. Dig up this graveyard. Get used to seeing this progress bar. That's going to be a feature of this playthrough of this game. Holy sorry, I'm a skull. Are you Gary? You look like Bob to me. Hmm, why would you think I'm Gary? Man, the red eye told me I need to dig up Gary. A red eye. I remember. Oh, sorry. That's right. I'm Gary. How'd you find me? The man told me to answer all my questions. You can actually tell me how I find him. Okay, where are we? I must be dreaming. You're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that. Sounds good. Check it out. I don't know if this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. Okay, we're about to meet the best character in this game. Something is very wrong with the animal. Hmm, it could be dangerous. You know, it would be better if I wait for here. I might scare the poor thing. So here's our friend. Oh, okay, this is... Here's our friend. Corpse from town. Wow, talking donkey. You can understand me? Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This card isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? Why doesn't this donkey sound like Eddie Murphy? Yeah, I can't do an Eddie Murphy accent. I'm sorry for letting you all down. Anyways, this donkey comes and brings us a corpse on a somewhat regular basis, um, sometimes much less regular than it should be, so we're, I'm hoping that doesn't happen this playthrough, but we'll see. It happened in a couple of my practice runs. Okay, so the skull wants me to pick up the corpse, and bring it into the morgue. You are a very strong lad. <laughs> Yeah, for someone who apparently did check out in previous life, I guess I didn't skip lifting. Okay. Argue with the skull for a bit. Yeah, this game's a little less charming than Stardew Valley. The, the, the characters are all kind of jerks. Shut up and do what I tell you. Yeah, I know. So bring meat to the village tavern, and he wants a beer because that's that's his character motivation is bring. Wait, I'm sorry, meat that you are about to take from a dead body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's good. so yeah. You, you one of the things you do is you get corpses and you can get take parts out of them. Right now, I can only get the meat, but oh, and yeah, yeah, get the meat from the dead body, and you've unlocked new recipes: <laughs> burgers, sandwiches, and baked meat. That's disgusting. Yeah, you get used to it. What do I do with the corpse? Let's bury it. At least, uh, what's her face from uh, Sweeney Todd used used fresh bodies. <laughs> yeah, the corpses actually decay over time the longer you leave them un untouched. Okay, bury it. Oops. 
dig a hole. Throw the corpse into it. And cover it. And get a certificate. Okay, he still wants beer. So this is the local bishop who comes here every week. He's a also a charming person. Oh dear, the new keeper. We've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. Hey, better late than never. Maybe they should have offered better uh, benefits with the job package. Yeah. So I tell you, it's be a graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting to cleric until you fix it. Okay, so this is one of the main mechanics of this game, is that the graveyard, and when we get to the church, has a quality score. Um, so the, the quality of the graves, and actually also the quality of the bodies inside of them, contributes to the quality. Um, there's a reason later why quality matters, but for now it's just kind of a uh, barrier that we need to get to a certain score to, 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 to advance the advance this part of the game. So we'll be wanting to get our, this is gonna be one of the main goals this run is to get this quality up. Um, and this guy comes every week. So we're gonna have basically a week to do it. Otherwise, if I miss, if I miss the first week, it's gonna be super annoying and put things in a funny position. So that's uh, not do that. Um, Speedrun speed fans of this game, we're going to be doing a standard fish sticks percent run here. Um, that's definitely a real thing and not something I made up 10 minutes ago. Um, but that's our goal for this run, is to make uh, fish sticks and eat them. So hopefully we'll get there. Um, yep, okay. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha ha! What is this burial certificate? I can sell it at the tavern for money. Um, not what, what, what are they doing with those certificates? <laughs> I need to go home. There's a talking. They pay me. That's I guess how I get paid. He forced me to uh, butcher a corpse. Ah, good joke. I'm a humorous myself. Who is BB? Who? I am. Ha ha. Blessed and beautiful. <laughs> I can choose to laugh or ignore him. It doesn't matter. I'll laugh. It's it's. Polite. It should have been a hashtag. So I can ask him about fixing the graveyard. As uh, I can ask him about some of the dialogue options open stuff up but not too much okay the town is to the east of here as every stardew valley clone has to be the your areas on the left the town is on the right okay so i can do some basic fixing of this area up i've unlocked any okay here's the tech tree um there are three different points for different technologies um there's red which is like building stuff green is like growing stuff and cooking stuff and blue is science and spiritual stuff um as part of our fish fish sticks run, we're going to need blue points, and that's uh, tricky because mostly we'll have to get the church unlocked before we can really get blue points. So that's one of our barriers. There's the different tech trees. Most of them are kind of locked right now, but we can see here we can get more wood and stone processing technology, which we'll need pretty early on. Um, and I can let's see, grab some tools and do some basic fixing. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to be, in general, for, I'm going to be doing a bit of stalling here. I want to wait till tomorrow to head into town, so I'm just going to do some random stuff. But, uh, so while I do some crafting and stuff, we can talk about the main incentive for this run. Yeah, um, hey guys, I'm Trina. If you don't know me, I'm a children's librarian, and my bit is reading books to chat. Um, normally I read picture books that, like, I actually would read to children that are funny and cute and, you know, have adult humor, but they're, they're, they're still good for kids. Um, this is not one of those picture books. First of all, before you ask, no, it is not Dobie Up to Sleep because I could not read that on stream. This one is stream safe in that it, it doesn't have profanity or any, like, any stuff like that. Um, that said, if you have actual small children that tend to re-watch my story time with Trina's, maybe skip this one. Uh, I, the... We're going quite a bit darker in humor even than uh, I Want My Hat Back did. So, um, in order to unlock a very thematically appropriate it's a spooky picture book, uh, you gotta donate for it, as, as you do. This is all the fun. Yep. So, the book is, I can actually make sure show, show, you can should show the, just the title screen. So, yep, so here is the book, uh, The Adventure of Princess and Mr. Whiffle, and you read that right, it's by Patrick Rothfuss. 
uh, famous for the first two thirds of The Name of the Wind. Um, so this book actually has three endings, which is impressive. Her office normally struggles with one ending. Um, but there, so we're going to be milking that for all it's worth. So the first thing we're going to unlock is the first ending of the book. And then from there, we'll continue unlocking more, more endings. This is like near Automata style endings where it's the first ending leads to the next ending. Um, so you, you want the full book. Otherwise you're going to get only part of the experience here. Correct. So we have the first one set in, I actually set it for $30, but during the transition, 1010 came in from Watermataru because they, they like the subcon music that was playing during the transition. So now we are only 20-ish dollars away from unlocking the, the book existing, uh, the, the, the little bit of the book. Um, so yeah, let's let's get that that first bit. I will read your dono, and then we will get working on the rest of the book. Yeah. So I'm chopping down some trees, getting some logs here. This is kind of my favorite like time saving trick in this game. Is you kind of do this like log rolling strat where you just push the logs together in in one mass. You don't have to make four trips. You're uh, you're Louisa from from Encanto. Can you, can you carry multiple donkeys at the same yeah, time? Yeah, that's, that's definitely a reference I get. Definitely. <laughs> um, so up here is the stamina bar. That's going to be kind of a thing. Um, so actually, I'm going to go to sleep right now. Um, this segment is a two-hour segment. We're going to 5.30. I want to have time for story time and just to actually get into some of this game. It's, it's a, not the quickest setup. OK, wake up. We're going to meet another friend. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay, I'm not going to do it. That's going to drive me nuts. This is our friendly neighborhood ghost named uh, Yorick, which the game will lampshade that the fact that the skull is named Gary, but the ghost is named Yorick. Um, but, you know, he he is unhappy with someone in his neighborhood. He must represent the graveyard HOA. <laughs> Yeah, you're York and he's Gary. Funny. Oh, game. So yeah, he wants me to go dig up the guy in the bottom right corner grave. To dig him up and throw him in the river. He's gonna give me a license to dig up graves. You actually need a permission to do it. Otherwise, I think the game doesn't want me like reburying the same bodies over and over and trying to get certificates that way. So yeah, we're trying to kill some times. So let's go do that now. This sounds like a setup to one of those like logic puzzles where it's like, here's the six people that need to sit at the table. These two people hate each other, and cannot sit by each other. This yeah. person doesn't care. <laughs> okay, so the body that he wants me to dig up is this one in this unmarked grave. But so the game hasn't explained this yet, but I'll go ahead. Bodies have quality here. So the red skulls are bad. The the, the white skulls are good. And as you decorate the grave, this the it fills up on the right hand side. Um, and you get points once you once you fill it past the negatives, you stop losing points. And when you go into the positive, you start gaining points. That's why this is worth one point. We've got three points worth of decorations, two of which cancel out the negatives, one of which gets us to the positives. But if we go all the way past the positives, we stop. It stops counting. So we would get a maximum of four points from this body. So this body down here in the corner is actually pretty good. Um, it's, it, it has only minus one, it has five positives. So we're actually gonna ignore York and we're gonna dig up this one instead. And what's great is he doesn't check or he doesn't care. I'll still, this will still count. So this, cause this body is minus three and can only get me a positive one. So this will make getting those five points a lot easier. We're gonna go, and then we're just gonna go carry it over the river and throw it in. It will surprise none of you to know that this is a household where we play a lot of high strategy board games because gosh darn, does that look like a board game strategy mechanic? Look, it, it, if we're gonna make the fish sticks percent, I need to be a little optimal here. <laughs> so York was hiding behind, or Bob was hiding behind that. His name isn't Bob, it's Gary. He's gonna complain about me throwing the bodies in the river because he can bite me to death while he's sleeping. You know, he would do it, we're friends, but you get my point. Yeah. Uh, where does this river really Oh, you're going to town. No, no worries. Just throw corpses into the river that leads to town. Uh, but yeah, he's going to talk about cremation. Uh, your choice in a normal game, and I don't know if we'll get this far, but cremation, you do a fair bit because you actually still get credit for cremation. You still get a burial certificate. Um, whereas we just chuck the bodies into the river. You don't get credit. Um, this weirdly popping up now is the NPC list. 
there's uh, there's a couple extra ones here like Gary the York and the donkey but there's really there's uh, six days in the week and there's essentially one NPC for each day of the week um, so it's it's not quite Stardew Valley of you know me having to learn everyone's ex schedules I can kind of just remember oh hey this uh, Venus means that it's Mrs. Charm today which we will be going to see her in a bit um, I'm going to get a little crafting done because I want to get there kind of late in the day for reasons. So we're going to clear out. This is our crafting area in front of our house. So we've got our different crafting buildings, which I guess I need to unlock. I should be able to unlock the sawhorse. Um, and this will let us... All right, I'm going to try and build it there where this bush is. Um, you have limited space, so deciding where you put stuff is kind of a mechanic. Um, there's also a kind of a lot of different crafting tables. We'll see that as we go on. That's one not very popular thing about this game is how many different crafting tables there are. So I, I get it. I think that could be a little better, but hey. Um, so let's crack, cut some wood. And okay, I'm out of stamina. So let's go to sleep for a bit. We will eventually be unlocking some food stuff, which actually I should have probably gotten going there. Um, so we won't constantly be sleeping. That is kind of the choice you have. This game isn't Stardew where you have to go to bed. You know, it doesn't enforce a bedtime. Oh, York is happy that I threw that corpse away. Even though I didn't throw away the one he wants. And he's going to explain that system of the good and bad points on corpses and decorating them. There was a slash T at the end of a sentence there, which I think is just a typo in the game script, but what do I know? Okay, yeah, that. Okay, let's cut up that meat that we got earlier. And then, so the fire here, we can cook stuff. We actually have to fuel it. So I have some sticks that I got. Now I'll put some fuel and then I will start baking the meat, which is gonna take in-game time. So kind of keeping your fire running and cooking food can be a, a good idea. Okay, pretty soon I'm gonna wanna head to town, but real quick. Um, oh, I don't actually have enough break points for that. Let's get break some stones. Okay, would this be a decent time for me to talk about the charity a little bit? Ah, uh, sure, go for it. Okay, cool. Guess what? There's overlays that we have forgotten existed, and I'm going to throw that up now. Gamers Outreach! We're raising money for Gamers Outreach. This marathon, this is this is a new charity for us. We're very excited to raise for them. Uh, Gamers Outreach basically said, hey, it sucks that, you know, kids get sick sometimes and have to stay in the hospital and, like... You know, be nice if there would be some something way they could distract themselves. So uh, they're like, let's let's put some video games in there. So Gamers Outreach provides video game systems and like wheel in carts that have like a whole setup uh, into hospital rooms. So you know, kids can can help distract themselves a bit, have some fun, enjoy being a kid, even when other parts of their lives are are pretty sucky right now. So. Every dollar you donate will go completely 100% to them. We don't touch a penny of it. We just have the nifty system that like scoops the data off and was like, hey, this person sent this. Um, we, what was the breakdown? $30 buys a controller, $60 buys a game, $300 buys a console, or the number we've really been trying to roll off of uh, this marathon, $3,500 will buy an entire cart setup, um, and we've raised two of those so far, and I definitely think we can manage to raise a third before the end of this marathon. So, yeah, let's let's make that happen. I also have another important announcement, which the people already in chat have noticed. But in case anyone is a uh, has is doing that thing where you're listening in another tab while you're doing something else. That emote that we were all competing for with Finn dressed up in a costume has dropped. We have Werewolf Finn now available for your use, and he is adorable and fluffy as as all things should be. So, yeah. Back to Graveyard Keeper. Okay. So, meantime, we're meeting one of the six NPCs, so we're not going to get very far with her because she's kind of a jerk. I want to ask you some questions. Ah, oh, you're not an important person. I'm not going to talk to you. Come back when you have faith in yourself. Uh, faith is actually a resource in this game that we'll be unlocking quite a bit later, but by talking to her, we can commiserate with Wagner the poet here, who is also kind of a jerk, but, you know, a different flavor of jerk. I'm a well-known poet in, some, in certain small circles. But he wants me to get him paper and ink. 
which are also a little annoying to get, but I'm able to do it. Um, this gives me a journalist perk, which means that people are gonna drop like little stories items, which is another collectible that's used a bit later in the game. Where can I find paper and ink? I can go make it in the church basement, um, or I can get some from the astrologer at the lighthouse. Uh, he was my supplier before we had this ridiculous fight. Ask about the old astrologer. He's old and mad. He, he's an idiot. He thinks the earth is round. What nonsense. Ah, ah, ah. Imagine this. This is, a, this is a medieval fantasy world where people actually believe the earth is flat. You know, unlike the real world. Um, yeah, okay. I don't think I can ask him where the lighthouse is, but I already know where the lighthouse is. Um, I can talk to Horadric. Um, I came here from the graveyard and I have been, things have been crazy. Okay, so he will buy my... Oh, yeah. Okay. Cha -cha -cha. Wait, why did he just imply he should have recognized you? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, maybe he's just being polite. Okay, so he will buy my burial certificates for a silver and a half. Um, only if he has money. So, the, so one thing about this game is that the economy is a little tighter. Um, if I hit trade here, he's actually going to give me another request for some reason. I don't know why that's the trigger for that, but he's going to ask me to deliver letter to the blacksmith, which I will do. Um, but here's the trade screen. Um, so down here, you can actually, the, the merchants, here's what I have, here's what they have. The merchants actually have a limited amount of items, and if I try to buy something, so this costs 20 for a bowl of lentils, the price goes up. So now if I want to buy, if you want to buy in bulk, the price is going to go up. And if you sell stuff in bulk, the price will actually go down. Um, so you can't quite just spam, sell the same, you know, you can't go grow one crop and just spam it, like, um, a little bit you can do in Stardew Valley. So you have to be, so the, the economy is pretty tight in this game. You will spend a lot of this game like, oh man, I only have six silver in my pocket and 12 things I want to buy. Um, which the most important thing I want to buy is a stupid teleport stone, because walking all over the place sucks. So we're going to be doing some interesting stuff to get this earlier than probably intended. Um, not that weird, but okay, so let's see. Ask about the garden. On my way here, I stopped and looked at the garden, which is our farm. Uh, the merchant seized it, but he's going to give me permission to use it anyways, even though it's not his. Um, he's listening. He wants me to work it out with the merchant. The merchant will show up tomorrow, so I'm actually, part of my timing here is I want to talk to the merchant, so I came here late in the day, and I'm just going to do some stuff, kill some time, hopefully. Okay, um, I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. He does have standards. He, he needs to have the royal meat stamp on it. Um, there was an incident years ago with uh, inappropriate meat, and now all meat must be approved by the royal authorities. And we all know that these regulations can't be cheated at all, so we're definitely going to do this legitimately, and we're not going to... Oh no, we're going to go talk to that guy in the sewers who's going to give us a fake royal seal? Great. <laughs> Another way, I'll tell you because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's a guy called the Snake. He sounds really respectable. He has a fake royal stamp. So yeah. Hey, do, do not disparage our, our favorite Metal Gear fellow that way. So Miss Charm can help us find the Snake, which is a weird thing to say because we will definitely know where the Snake is long before we actually get Mrs. Charm to talk to us. Um, I think that's all I need to talk to him for now. I did trade, I got some of my favorites. So the, the food boosts stamina and has some side effects. This one makes sleeping better. So I guess everyone eats their bowls of lentils before bed. This is the keeper's wife. She will sell me recipes that I won't usually buy. So Mrs. Chain, which I'm sure is not a ball and chain joke. Um, sells recipes, yep. Okay, let's go talk to the blacksmith, hopefully before he goes to bed. This is the part where I would read donations, if I had any. Yes, yep, please donate. This, if we, we said, we, we really want to read this this storybook and we're gonna need to get moving. Blacksmith. Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. Here's the letter. He wants me to kill some slimes. So the, the, the bar owner gave me a letter to take to five seconds away to the blacksmith to kill slimes that are five seconds away from the blacksmith, and no one is up to doing any of this, so the new guy in town has to do all the work. Okay, I can get metal in the swamp by my bridge and this unlocks the metal technology, which is good. 
I need to sharpen my sword for reasons. Which has a oops. Good thing, good thing is he gave me some energy potions, which are nice. I presume the sword is dull because you used it to butcher a human body. No, I didn't. He just I think he just gave me the sword. I don't, oh. I don't know what you butcher that body with. Have we got kill the slimes? Remember to turn the jelly in. Don't worry about it. I forgot this earlier and that was really annoying. Okay. I can make things out of jelly. So yeah, there is a bit of combat in this game. There's actually a kind of a dungeon. It's not like the mine. It's 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 locked behind the snake's progression, so we may or probably won't see it, because that's it's I would say mid-game. Um, but you know, it's not the most exciting. It, it's you, you saw I hit space to swing my sword. It, it's not it, the, the the combat system. This is not Hades. Um, let's see. So we're killing time. I'm gonna go see if the farmer is still out to sell me some seeds. Um, he probably isn't, and if not, we're gonna pick flowers for a bit. Um, I don't remember what time he goes to bed. Ah, he is still awake. I don't have quite as much money as I would like, but I should be able to buy some seeds for him. Oh, you're even worse than those shifty traveling merchants. I must say, your whole profession is a fraud, and I don't like you. Now that my name is clear, we can do business. Um, which, which, which part exactly does he think is the fraud? Does he think you're making up that the buried bodies are buried there? Like? I don't know. He's probably not. He's probably not wrong. In fairness, whatever he has against me, I mean, we, we do seem kind of we do seem kind of sketch. But um, let's see. I don't have a ton of money, so let's buy some cabbage seeds and some carrot seeds. Eventually, we'll need carrots for the uh, the donkey. That's what he eats. So get those going early, I guess. Okay, head back to town. Picking specifically red flowers for reasons. I could go around town and introduce you to the people, but there aren't really that many. Let's see, there is someone who works with sells wood, someone who sells stone. Um, this game does not have all the charming personalities of, oh, oh no, I think that's the guy I wanted to buy. Yeah, okay, I wanted to buy peas from him. Whoops, just missed him. Eh, we'll come back. Um, we will run over, let's see. The merchant shows up pretty early. He might be showing up now. If not, I'm gonna run to the lighthouse. Okay, so this is an awkward section because I'm really, oh, there's the merchant. Okay, I'll pick a couple more flowers when he gets to where he goes and stands. No one is willing to talk while they're still walking places. Down here, this leads to the uh, the city. This is the, t or the town, so we're in the village. The, you can get a town pass. This is like the meanest thing this game does. Um, I'm about to spoil something that some people probably would like spoiled. You, the game sets up like, oh, you need to go to town and get these items. And you're like, oh man, there's an entire other area. You get the town pass, you turn it in, you walk through this gate, and you get struck by lightning. And the game's like, oh, I guess you're not going to. I guess going to town's a bad idea. So there is no, there is no town in this game. You never get to see it. Wow. Um, it's, it's 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 a combination of infuriating or hilarious, depending on your opinion on this game. So some people, that's legitimately their least favorite part of this game. So I, I figured I'd give that warning in case. Mm. D donate to to voice your approval or uh, disapproval of this troll moment. Yeah, this game like said, it's a bit of a troll game at times. Okay, this, this is the merchant. He's the one who owns the farm. Um, he has the hiccups, so I'm gonna very... Yeah, he's... I'm not from this world either. I am from a grander place, the Chicken town. Chicken ain't but a bird. Ah, thank you. Yay, it's 15.05 from Pink Penguin. You said, my mom actually played this game for a while. She likes it. Huh. I said it's, it's a little, it's a little uh, divisive. I've, I've seen lots of opinions on this game. I like it. Um, I have to admit, I didn't actually finish it. Um, I got pretty close. I played some of the DLC, which extended the game a bit, and maybe was a bad idea. But yeah, we're gonna talk about the gardens. We can use it. Um, he dropped a story. Those are like the collectible things. Ah, uh, it's worth so little. But uh, that was many years ago, and uh, inflation and uh, good soil. Oh, it's it's really valuable now. So yeah, it sells to me for 10 gold. Uh, nope. 
Uh, how about five gold? Uh, nope. Uh, okay, how about a barter? So, he, so he's actually gonna just let me, let me use it, but he wants me to deliver him uh, some veggies to prove that I'm a good farmer. Um, which we're definitely not gonna do, because it, it's pretty... His, his whole thing is kind of late game. I may eventually jump over a save file that has some later game stuff, but the important bit here is that if I talk to him about the deal and ask about seeds... He's gonna say, oh, I don't have cheap seeds. You can buy those at the farm where it just was. But if you need money, I'll lend you five silver now and you can pay him back 10, which is great. Alone with no return date, I'll take one of those. <laughs> um, it's no interest. Huh? Yeah, there's no interest. I mean, it, theoretically, it's not a great deal if you're trying to actually like play this game efficiently. But importantly, what he wants, he also wants me to get him, him hiccup hip, hip, hip grass from this, from this forest. We may, we may do that. Um, and just the, how people work is when you do stuff for them, you get reputation points. So it, it's a more fixed thing. There's a fixed amount of reputation points you get. It's not like, again, it's not Sturdy Valley. I'm not going to be giving, bringing this guy his favorite food every day for a week um, until, he, until he likes me. It's, it's much more, you know, specific quests. But gaining reputation points will unlock new things that they will do for you. Um, but yeah, the important thing is he just gave me five silver. And with my newfound riches, I am about to go buy the heck out of that teleport stone. And we will be doing much less walking around. Oh, oh, and I forgot to actually report back that I killed the slimes. He will give me a free beer. Cheers. Teleport stone. Yay. Oh, yeah. And so so uh, connoisseurs of the fish sticks percent run that we're doing will note that he does actually sell fish sticks here. But this is a common misconception. The real fish sticks percent run have to be homemade. Uh, Kresvel just nukes them in a microwave behind the counter. It doesn't count. They're not real fish sticks. So it, it, it's a common mistake. We're, we will not be buying his fish sticks. We will be making our own. Um, let's see. Is the guy has got two errands I want to run here, and then we'll head back and actually, like, you know, do stuff at home. Um, but I'm trying to get as much of this town stuff out of the way so I don't have to spend a lot of time. Nope, that guy's not back yet. I want to minimize the amount of time I'm running back and forth to town. Speaking of fishing, there's a fishing spot here. There is... How's the fishing mechanic in this game? Oh, it's nothing like Stardew Valley. It's definitely, not, it's definitely not a clone of Stardew Valley's fishing mechanic. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Got, got, got it. Not nudge wing wing. Yes, this is the crazy guy who... <laughs> Yeah, if he wants honey for some reason. I like collecting honey. Is you, you collect it from trees, but you take damage because the bees dissing you. More flowers. How am I doing on flowers? Oh, 12. I think I've got more than I need. Okay. And over here is the lighthouse, which is kind of an annoying walk, which is why we're doing it now. And then we'll be able to teleport back here. Um, and we can meet the, so here, here we go. Here's the, the, the main, this is the fishing guy. So, so for our fish 6%, he's a, he's a, he's a critical character. So we need to get a rod from him. Um, let's see first. Well, he'll teach me how to cook fish, which is useful, I guess. And oh, there we go. There's our recipe for fish, fish sticks. Um, that's important. Uh, but we need a rod. So he wants, he will give me a rod in exchange for five moths. Six moths? Six. I made that mistake before. Again, also, connoisseurs of the route will know that I could actually buy a fishing rod here. And this, this does cut a lot of time off the fish 6% route. Um, but if I just buy it, I don't get the sense of pride in each accomplishment. Um, so we're not going to be doing that either. We're going to get those moths and do it the way God intended. Is there also a, uh, a Darth Vader skin available in this game? I, I don't think so. Aww. Okay, we're gonna... How, how can you truly feel accomplished? Then? I know. Um, so there's there's that teleport stone coming in clutch for back here. And if this guy who sells Pete isn't here, I'm gonna just take my toys and go home. But um, that person sells... What do they sell? They sell animal stuff? Dairy products. Do you have beef? Oh no, the cows are our friends. We're not like those folks from the town. I bet they even eat human flesh. I can keep talking from over here. I don't think I've ever done that before. Okay, good. This guy was mm -hmm. almost in Pete. Six, five, seven. Some fertilizer, and we'll be using it for something else as well. Okay, I think that's everything I need, and my teleport stone has recharged. It does have a small cooldown. We can go home. Okay, here's my meat that I cooked. Oh, yeah. Wait, why are all the buildings named after horses? Are they? I, I thought the, the, the Warby list. No, I, I think it was... 
Sweet Home is where I live. Oh, okay. And then Dead Horse is the tavern and right. the lighthouse. Okay. Okay. So what are we... I, my brain read the all the H's as horses. This is Sweet Horse. Oh, no. Sweet Light Home. Light Horse. <laughs> Okay, so... Donate and I will assign you a horse. Oh, yeah. One thing I need to do is, since I'm kind of sequence breaking here, I need to go down here and walk down this path and the skull will jump out of the bush at me. I was supposed to be walking home, but, you know, teleporting. Where have you been? I was at the village, but then I wasn't. Sorry, you're stealing my thoughts. Okay, the stuff in the cellar of the game will now let me go there, and I can gather stuff like apples and berries and mushrooms. Ooh! Achieved. Goal achieved! Okay, we will be reading at least the first third of this the, the, of this book. That is exciting. Yes, and I do have the second ending already in the system. That was $8 from... Seven, I was about to say 17 gum. 71 gum. Thank you so much for allowing me to at least read part of this book. Okay. He said, oh, you know, you can ask me anything. Ask about the, yeah, can you tell me? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with answers? Well, yes. Sorry, you smart ass. So yeah, he wants beer, which I'll probably remember to do. Okay, but I can tell. How does he drink it? it? It drizzles out of him, like, you know, it's like those skull cups that... Oh, I thought you were going to reference uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, no. Good call. But yeah, no, here's our, you know, what's a Stardew Valley-inspired game, if not for farming. So fertilize and plant. Um, so every it takes four seeds at once to plant stuff, but when you harvest, you get some of them back. So that's why I bought five seeds, because that should get me at least two. Oh, I think I forgot to fertilize. Whoops. Oh well, and I bought less seeds than I usually do because I did the order a little different. Let's drop the excess. Let's drop stuff in the chest. A beautiful thing about this game is that when you put stuff in chests for crafting, you can still access it. So it's it's all crafting games should be legally required to do that, but they don't. Um, well, I think I want ten of these. Let's just get this done. Uh, I'm gonna go run over to the graveyard and. We're gonna decorate it. So the one, the easiest way to get a lot of decoration points real quick is to put flowers in. Um, so that's why I've been picking red flowers and got bought some peat so you can put five flower beds in. So that's gonna give us two each, which is actually a pretty huge chunk of what it takes to get us to the five we need. That's like halfway there. And also, cause I'm carrying this around by mistake, I should drop that. Okay, great. Ah, I'm out of stamina. Oh no, I don't have enough energy to put this down yep. on the ground. I'm burying it, I guess. Use up our second energy potion. Okay, I'm gonna need more stone. Let's get some of that. You do eventually get a better pick, so you spend a little less time watching that progress bar. Boop, boop, boop. <gasps> oh man! I see a funny man statement in the chat. We know funny man is very good at wielding the power of working for Google to do matching. So Funny Man says, I think it's about time to get some more donations going. Starting with the one we just heard, I'm going to match $10 plus 10. Oh, like for every $8, wait. Okay, Funny Man will donate $10 and then Google will donate $10 for every $8 donation. There's a cap, but it's big. Let's find the cap, y'all. Yeah, bless so, Funny Man. If you donate $8, Funny Man will turn your $8 into $28, which is a, I'm not running the exact numbers right now, but let's just call it a very good return on investment. All for the, the kids. Okay, we go in the cellar and we see this suspicious looking guy walking over to this grate. He's gonna just come here and yell at this gate every night um, and then leave. Yeah, that's, I guess the game doesn't tell you this, but there's someone called the snake and there's this weird guy in the basement. I'm sure that's not the snake. Um, but more importantly, we're down here to get, we've got some bags of wheat or flour. We've got some, we've got a recipe here, which you can buy in the store if you're a sucker. Okay, baked apples, baked mushrooms, great. 
Okay. Hope I need water. Let's get some cook my furnace isn't running, so let's get some stuff cooking. And getting water from the well has a progress bar. Like I said, this game is brought to you a little bit by progress bars, but hey. Turn that into water. So throw stuff in the chest. Like I said, that's great. You can just craft straight from the chest. So just throw all your food stuff into chests. We're gonna make some dough. And darn it, funny man does say that if we can manage, if we get to half of the cap, he will tell us what the cap is. Okay. But no, knowing funny man, it is. I'm. Sure, it is at least a double digit number. Do I have firewood? I do not have firewood. Okay. Let's get some bread going, anyways. Okay, I'm gonna eat lentils. I'm gonna, I am gonna sleep in a second, but I, when you eat it, it gets you energy, so I always eat it and then find something to do real quick to spend up that energy and then go to sleep. So don't eat. Any I don't even know what lentils really are. I've never had them, so I don't know if this is actually a thing you should eat before bed, but the game thinks it is. Can they really, like, kick these? Eat, like, are they? I'm unclear where the over botanical overlap is between, like, lentils and beans, but they're very much in the same category. Okay. So it's a new day. So again, every day has a different NPC. The first day is Mrs. Charm, who won't speak to us. The second day is the merchant. Um, the third day is Snake, which again, we won't really meet yet. So tomorrow is everyone's favorite character in the game's day. So we'll get to that. Okay. Ah, and here come the $8 rolling in. First, we have an $8 donation from Storytime fans. Who I suspect may be my parents. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. It sounds like the sort of thing they said. They would you say, we want to hear all the book, as you should. We have another $8 from 71 Gum says, a funny man match. Well, have my Starbucks money. Indeed. And $8 from Pink Penguin says, sounds like a good deal. That's you. Okay, so that's, that's two thirds of this book unlocked, which, you know... You guys want to unlock the last half, but for me personally, if, if I get on stream and we read two thirds of a Patrick Rothfuss book and then not finish it, I can die a happy man. <laughs> I am perfectly okay with that outcome. But you guys most, do want to see the end of this it book. It is the most accurate reading. It's not the most fun reading, though. Ooh, a couple more. Uh, $8 from Kerplop saying, that donation match finally sold me. Thanks for a great Halloween weekend. And $8 from Stone. That is five so far, because I think I'm keeping track. Funny man's keeping track, good. <laughs> I, su I suppose he would have to. Which, hmm. Man, how do I, with the match going on, how do I know how I to set the price for the last oh, bit of the sad. book? Okay. Um, do we maybe want to do a something instead where we say like if that eight dollar donation mark goes up to a certain number, we unlock the third ending? Yeah. Set it fifteen. I was gonna say twenty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm challenging you, chat. Yep, got this. We do have. Three more, another eight from Stone, eight dollars from Joey says, can't argue with a funny man boost. And eight dollars from Pink Penguin, smoshing. Okay, so how we get home in this game apparently is on which hill there's a portal. Um, turn it on, need to go talk to the astrologer. Okay, I could ask him about the astrologer, but I already did that. But yeah, the, the, there's a lot of stuff connected down here once you can clear these blockages out, which requires some uh, later game crafting materials. Okay, now that I brought him a beer, he wants wine, because that's his quest line, is to get more and more alcoholic drinks. 
Okay, speaking of which, we haven't gotten a corpse in a while. I hope the donkey is coming with a new corpse sooner rather than later, but again, I have played this game recently where the donkey just doesn't show up, which is fun. That, that'll just mean story time happens earlier. Another $8 from Just Connect saying, Bless, funny man. $8 from, is that an S or an F? That is an F. Matt540. And five, $8 from Opaque Amantia saying, Too good of an opportunity to pass up. Thanks for all you do, Zelda Fun team. And another fresh $8 from Pink Penguin. And I think you have to put it in brackets. If you're trying to, if you're trying to summon, I did not notice if uh, Sans was the one who walked that one out. Despite our, our fancy uh, pick your character interface, there are some that are still locked behind the uh, the must put the secret message in your comment. Oh, here's another one. Another one. I guess this whole train has probably been eight dollar donations. So yeah, see, fifteen would have been too easy. Yeah, that's fair. Eight dollars from Stone. I underestimated chat. We are, we are, we tend to be very good at that. That's all it's on. Okay. I am mining all of the iron so I don't have to come back here. Also, these, these, these stumps here are actually really efficient because you get two logs out of them. Oh. Of course, you gotta do this annoying log rolling trick through the swamp, but <laughs> hey, can't beat okay, efficiency. Okay. Wee! Efficiency. Up, say. And, up and down is really. You, <laughs> this is still faster than walking this whole route <laughs> twice. And now, see, so yeah, here's 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 where we're cooking with propane. Uh, it's really easy going up and down. When you start going left and right, this trick gets a lot. A lot more annoying. Okay, I might be good on wood for a little bit, but you do use a lot of wood in this game. Okay, what do we want? So we want to start working on. I would like to get. Let's see. I've got. Oh, I've got the forge unlocked with the furnace. Um, I need. Okay, I need stone and flitch for that. All right, we are still only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> there goes the sign. The train. Okay, the, the, the train died. That's all right. We're not here for the train. We're here for the matching. Ah. That is still only 14 of all, but it's more than double that because Funny Man says hasn't told us that we've hit the, the halfway point yet. So 14 of at least 29, and <laughs> we have a very strange number to end at. Okay, we did get the jingle so that the donkey is actually doing stuff this game. So great. We're not going to have a, a dud. Hooray! Game. Um, can I get, okay, I need the flitch, which is at this, this one. I love running from stuff and waiting for it to catch up to me. Okay. That was another $8 from Joey saying, my brain only consists of pumpkins today, which is very understandable. Joey will actually have a segment later that is pumpkin carving, and I cannot wait to see how, uh, how we are wielding donations to shape the outcome of the pumpkins, but we will we will have to see when, uh, it's not the one after us, I don't think. I think it's two. Where's my schedule? Someone like schedule in chat. See if you can beat me fully up on my phone. So now we've reached the most realistic part of this game in which I just eat a lot of bread. This is just, you know, this is how this is why I do at restaurants. Eat all the bread. As someone who has been married to the man for over five years, can confirm. Okay, and this is. Oh yeah. right, Metroid Block is after us. How could I forget Metroid Block? And then the pumpkin carving will be after Metroid Block. All right, sitting at fifteen eight dollar donations. We need at least five more to make story time with Trina happen. Okay. And we want to, I mean, even more than that would be great for more matching purposes, but, uh. Okay, let's see what this body let's looks like. Let's keep those coming. So I do probably want to bury this one. I probably don't want to throw it in the river. Ah, oh, it's not great though. Probably still worth it. 
Um, so I'm gonna unlock this technology. So the different things you pull out of the body have effects on um, the quality of the body. I, I know I know that's what fat looks like outside the human body, but I do not like that grip. <laughs> I'm gonna get a skull for reasons, which actually adds a red. And then fat, removing fat actually removes a red. Oops, need more red. Um, unless you screw up. <laughs> if you screw up, then it just adds a red. So, Surgeon's oops. mistake. Yeah, there's, there's ways. So, the, so your tech tree also has perks. It's like this gentle butcher perk means you are much less likely to make mistakes. Also, eating a hamburger makes you less likely to make mistakes because that's every surgeon you see is eating a burger while they work. That's definitely... Uh, I don't, are you sure you cooked that? It just said flush. Well, I'm saying if I had burgers, I could eat them, and I don't have burgers yet. Okay, that's decent. That's a terrifying image of just, like... I mean, first of all, that's not what an autopsy is. Secondly... Just the idea of, you know, like, all right, here I am, slowly working. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Just reach again, grab a handful. You know, <laughs> works, it works. Okay, um, I'm going to drop, let's see, I'm going to keep the skull on me for reasons. But I'm going to drop that stuff off. Okay, we're actually pretty close on, the flower strap really helps. Do I have? Okay, maybe this is a reference to the, I I don't understand who this is. We had eight dollars from roller skating wild man, who says, "Yes, this is who you think it is." Would that not be your father? Oh, sorry, Dad. <laughs> Look, I, I haven't. I haven't been in a roller skating rink with you in like at least half a decade. <laughs> Should go sometime. That is 16. Huh. Four more to unlock the true ending of Storytime with Trina. Four more to make us come up with other incentives. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm bringing, maybe I'll bring back the summon cat incentive. We'll have to figure out how to bring back the webcam then. I, it's, I, I have oh, you still before. have the template, okay. Yeah. Okay. Another $8 from Stone. Three more. Okay. Was maybe a little too aggressive on unlocking technologies with red points. Now I'm just gonna hit some rocks and get some red points. Yeah, early on the red technology is the big limiter. Um, Cause you can get red points from like, you know, crafting stuff, but you need Right technology to actually have good stuff worth crafting. Also, digging up stumps gives you red points, even though it doesn't give you actual more logs. So, <laughs> yeah, the Inquisitor has shown up up on Rich Hill. Okay, so were were we expecting the Spanish Inquisition or no? Is this a surprise? I don't know. That's, that's, <laughs> that's a personal choice. I'm still going to sleep. But yeah, you know, we can't have just one corrupt religious person in this game. We have to have two, obviously. It's the Middle Ages. The, the, you, you can't swing a stick without hitting Where, Where's the guy clergy. that's going to ask you for a... Oh, gosh, what was the name of the bit where they were like, yeah, give us money and we'll get your... We'll get your loved one out of purgatory. Okay, our crops are growing nicely there. Okay, uh, another $8 from Ravenbeak11. Two more... To the story time, not to talk to the end of magic. Everything's ready, Monsignor. No, Monsignor. Except there's a strange fella sleeping around. Oh, there he is! <laughs> guys, calm down. I live here at the graveyard. He calls us guys. Oh, he's a cultist for certain. <laughs> <laughs> I know the bishop. He's a good friend of mine. I laugh at his jokes. I can believe you're a friend of his. That's not terribly impressive feat. Just pay him a compliment. He's your friend. But pointing some to the graveyards outside his area of responsibility, I'll have to visit him and remind him the limits of his authority. Will you like to join me at the witch <laughs> wow. ceremony? This uh, this escalated. Sure. Be oh hour. no. So how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Yeah. Well, I'm from another world. I'm not sure how I got here. I need to get back home, my love. I got hit by a truck. Yeah. Truck coon's a jerk. 
I don't know, it's not appropriate time for jokes, and I don't appreciate your general demeanor. I am the Great Inquisitor. Protect the true faith and humankind itself. Having a tough time in the town, the ship of the dead is already overloaded. That's probably how we have a different corpse every single day. They, they <laughs> do address this, kind of. Graveyard is opening a suspiciously auspicious time. Dark cult is rising. Where's Jackson? I need him to sing the Hunchback of Notre Dame song. Oh, fire! Like fire! But yeah, we won't actually see much of this plotline either. Um, he's about to tell me to come back next week, because why not? And then he has a couple. Eventually, you open a hamburger stand and sell hamburger and beer at the, the weekly wish burnings, because again, that's the sort of game this is. Uh huh. The, the burgers. So, okay, question. The the bodies that he's burning for the witch burning, are those bodies that will come back to you, or are they too, like, toasty? I think they're going to be too toasted. Okay, I was like, because, you know, this would be this sort of interesting circular thing if, like, ah, sure, we'll you be are his, eating We'll be his friend. It, this is, you know, it's the game about making friends. Why not? But yeah, they address where we're getting all the corpses from. I don't know where they're getting all these witches from. Uh, oh boy. But yeah, talk <gasps> next week. That was two $8 donations from Ravenbeak11. And the second one said, shout out to the Metroid block coming up soon. Which means we hit 20 $8 donations. Which means you have successfully unlocked the last story time with Trina and me. Yay! Yay! Although it does feel weird not to have the, the goal achieved, so I'm gonna real quick make a goal that's like set in one dollar so that the next time anyone donates something, it'll go off. That's fair. <laughs> we can eventually grow grapes over here. Ganon 11, heist movie, but they're breaking someone out of purgatory and or hell. Aren't you just describing the plot of Hades? And or the story of Orpheus? Oh yeah, I have a teleport zone. Why am I walking around like a chump? Actually, I wanna go buy more seeds. But remember, just because we've hit our story time with Trina goal, the, the matching is still happening, and we have not hit the halfway point yet. So we can, there are at least 40 matches in total that can happen today. We have at least 20 more, and probably more than that. Remember, your $8 can turn into $28 through the power of Funny Man and Google. More money for the, the, the kiddos, more money for video games. All good things. Okay. Story of Warface, but this time we do it right. This time for sure. Okay, anything else I can cook right now, or am I pretty? All right, more meat I can cook. Wait, I can get more flesh. Is it already? Huh, I must have thrown it in a chest. Whoops. Can you not cook with things in chests, just craft? Well, I must have thought, it's, 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 it's not every chest in the game is all connected. So, like, the chest in my oh, kitchen, okay. I must have thrown it into a different chest. Got it. Maybe the one by the graveyard. Right, I'll check when I'm there later. Ideally, I'd like to save, I would like to wait till, oh, actually, I was, I was just about to say, I'd like to wait till my cabbage grows. Okay, as, I say that seconds after harvesting my cabbage. Um, but good, I can make sandwiches my now. Cabbages! Oh, yes. crops growing. Theoretically, you can make you can make some money off of crops. It, it's not like a super huge cash cow like it is in Stardew. I, I tend to eat most of what I grow because I prefer to be awake and not have to sleep every five minutes. Um, but there's other strats. It's because you are not our cats. Oh, well, yes. Okay, let's see. So now, throw some cabbage in the chest and throw some bread in the chest. And we should have, yep, the power of sandwiches. We are no longer just eating raw bread. Mmm, tasty, tasty, deadly. But I'm actually gonna keep the bread on me because I do like eating bread. Yeah, Gamers Outreach is back in the chat. Hey, Gamers Outreach. Hello. The Cabbages fans. Or probably Last Day of Bread fans. Okay, los dos. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm breaking these down here because they're actually kind of an important source of early parts, like uh, the nails and small metal parts, I think. I don't, I don't know if these are randomized or not, because I could, I think I might need one more small part. If I missed it, maybe I have to go buy it from the, that'd be annoying. But it also gives me red technology points, yay. Okay, there's, there's okay. an iron parts. Okay, um, primitive forging. Theoretically, the strat in this game is you can skip this first anvil and go straight to the better anvil, but I'm not quite that level, so we're gonna make the wooden anvil. And this will let us actually forge basic parts. So yes, I did need that second part. And you can, you can queue up crafting multiple things at once, which is kind of fun. Small, small favors in this game. I said, this game does, for, for a game that's as heavy on crafting, it's a good thing that it gets a lot of the basic stuff right, like re repeating stuff and crafting from chests. I've played a lot of uh, bigger crafting games that screw that stuff up. Subnautica, I'm looking at you. Okay, um, right, so now we can hopefully craft. Do I have enough tech points? For the table, I do. Okay. Carpenter's workbench. Should I put a, uh, should I put an incentive or a goal in $50 to go fetch a cat? I can, I can also, we'll maybe wait till, well, it's up to you. I, I was, I will say $50, but it has to be before Funny Man's matching money has to be donated. If, if that happens, I'm going to recalculate it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna count the match itself. So this is where we can start building actual... Oh, there's the... There we go. <laughs> there's, there's my official, I wanted an actual acknowledgement of Storytime 3 now. <laughs> we, we had already hit it, to be clear. I just wanted it to look cool. That is another $8 donation from Stone Money saying, one more. Okay, I am going to, oh wait. I was about to do this off based off of the wrong total. Okay, so this is the crafting bench. This is the first place we can actually make like stuff that helps us fix the graveyard. We can make wood repair kits and we can make the basic wooden markers, which I don't really think I might make one. I think there's a reason to have at least one of each. Yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna do that. I'll probably skip those. In fact, I might be able to unlock the next graveyard technology. Oh yeah, so, okay. Now we can make wooden crosses, wooden fences, and then stone fences once, or stone crosses once we get the stone cutter bench up. Which, let's check on that. Let's see, stone working. Yep, stone cutter. I mentioned there's a lot of crafting benches in this game, because oh boy, are there a lot of crafting benches in this game. The thing they could have done, which would have been nice, is to have more crafting benches that upgrade rather than constantly building new ones. Like they have a little bit of that, like our furnace will eventually upgrade to a furnace too, which is nice instead of having a completely separate furnace. Okay, so now I can make gravestones. So I'll make a couple of these, and that should actually set us for having our church upgraded. Could have. So that's sun, the Sunday is the church day. So we're, we're on time for that. Um, today is the moon day, which is when the astrologer shows up. We'll go meet him. Again, not gonna do a ton with him, but may as well introduce all the NPCs. So we'll set up our church and then we'll go do that. Okay, I have put a goal in the system. When, when, when the last two digits of dollar digits of that total are 80 instead of 39, I don't feel like reading big numbers right now. We will go fetch a cat. Probably the big what? orange fluffy one first. I say we can we can put a higher bonus to, cat, to fetch the angry cat, the cat who does not want to be fetched, but that's going to be traumatic for all involved. So we'll see. I would say let's let's start with the the big friendly lump, shall yeah, we? Yeah, that's fair. He is he's, he's, he's big a, and he's floofy and he's orange. He's a he's a he's a he's a crowd pleaser. 
He is he is the favorite cat of your your entire family. Yeah. You're not allowed to have favorite children, but you are allowed to have favorite cats. Okay. Yep, so we are past the five we need, that's good. Also, it's nagging me to go to sleep, like my mother, um, up there. So that's the, that's the, if you stay up too long just eating food, the game will eventually say like, hey, you should probably like sleep. Um, does this game include grave robbery? Not really, since it's your grave, I'm not sure what you'd be robbing, but. I mean, you, you, you exhume some bodies. That... Uh, yeah. 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 I feel like that's more the layperson's definition. Right, I mean, digging up corpses, I guess, is a is grave robbery when you dig up corpses and, you know, take parts off them. Is that grave robbery when it's your job to do that? So, like, I threw a corpse in the river earlier, and actually I know one, one pro strat is you can actually, you know, you should take that corpse and go mess it up first and get free parts off it. I don't quite optimize to that level, but you can do it. Have you actually been told by anyone in authority that that is considered part of your job description? You know, uh, <laughs> they were they were vague. It's because we're gonna go to lighthouse. So here's the astrologer. I used to be. I need your help. Everyone needs something. Said me. Knowledge only brings sadness, young man. You seem pretty happy. Ooh, burn! <laughs> I think I I don't think I caught that burn before. But yeah. He will sort of lead us towards the quest of going home. Um, he wants a skull for some reason. Are we going to bring him, him Jer Gary? <laughs> the talking one? Gary? He's my friend. I don't think it's oh. appropriate. <laughs> no, I just need a simple skull from any old dead body. Oh, hey, I happen to have a skull on me. Weird. He didn't say it had to be a clean skull. Yeah. Just blend you have a talent for anatomy. I can identify a skull, if that's what you mean. Yes, I know which part of the body that's in. <laughs> I, I, too, know what part of the body is the head. Oh, we are partners in crime. I need your help. I could buy ink and paper from him, but probably won't right now. It's kind of expensive. Let's see. Yeah, ink and pe pen and ink is pretty expensive. <laughs> Agreed. That does sound more like employee theft than robbery or mi mis misappropriation of <laughs> embezzling organs. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then he will also tell me about opening the portal. Um, he was friends with the previous graveyard keeper um, who knew stuff about the portal. I can ask him his name was Jerry because it's, but I don't think, I have no idea. I didn't finish this game. Yeah, no, there's no, there's no like tower defense against grave robbers. <laughs> that, would, that would be an entertaining mechanic. They okay. should have put a. They should have put a Leonardo da Vinci in here because isn't he the one that like basically like stole some corpses so he could like figure out human anatomy? Yeah, I mean that's what based. This guy is kind of a riff off of da Vinci, which I is suppose. probably why he wants the skull. Uh, no, I believe the only celebrity in this game is uh, the Witcher. Um, ah, yes. Clearly, okay. I still want the six mods. Can't have we unlocked that technology yet? Not easy. Uh... It's in this tree. Okay, here's the insects. This is the technology we need for the moths, um, which I mean, I could get I could get this one if I wanted, but we're gonna need the five blue technology. You can actually buy he will sell eventually he'll sell books that give you blue technology, but they're again kind of expensive. And we're we're almost there to having the church open. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna collect pick some apples from his apple trees. Only the ones with two apples on the ground are be harvested, so not too many of them. Just a reminder, we do have Funny Man's match going on. Any $8 donation you give will be matched. $20, 10 from Funny Man, 10 from Google, to make your money more powerful. And since, ooh, you know, I just realized, you have 21 so far. Am I correct in my calculations that that means an additional 420? Oh, God, I can't explain it to me. <laughs> I mean that number should still be higher. Let's let's not get like stuck on four twenty. Let's let's move on from <laughs> that's not higher get, numbers. Let's not get stuck on four twenty, unlike the entire rest of the <laughs> internet. Okay, going to sleep. 
I didn't eat lentils, so I'm not gonna sleep as well, but. Which I do, I guess I could have gone to the store. Ah uh, yes, back in the day before people actually donated their bodies to science. And people were like, but we still want bodies to science with. I don't know if I've shared the the, the trivia tidbit before that we're, we're both part of a, a local handbell group because we, we met Big Bells actually. Um, oh, spooky noise. Thank you, Daniel, for the $8 matching and booking. Um, our handbell director is his day job is he is a mortician and we actually like as of a couple of years ago started practicing in like a spare room of his crematory we we've had a suggest that we should rename our group to the dead ringers um or get t-shirts that say every time a bell rings an angel gets his wings i still really want the second one i do really want those t-shirts the, those would be hilarious and nobody would get why they're funny except us the best kind of jokes Okay, getting a little less last bits of graveyard or uh, church improvement. I really should. You can you can eventually build a you can build a chest over in the garden area, which is way more convenient. I just I'm saving a uh, red technology. Okay. Oh, wait, but actually, I want to get. Oh, there it is. I actually do want it because I want to make the. Oops. Oh, this is what I want. Compost heap. I have 10 sticks. I can make a compost pile. Oh right, I shared a I forgot I shared a video from one of last year's Christmas performances in the Discord. Dino listened to it, Dino approves. I'll probably do that again this Christmas. Yeah, Dead Ringer to be a good name, but we also mostly play in churches, so it's, <laughs> it is kind of a genre mismatch, you know? We are alter ego. We can start doing some pop concerts, spooky songs. Have we ever done anything that would qualify as a spooky piece um, in either Bell group we've been in? Not. I mean, like, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch has, I mean, I know it's a Christmas piece, but it kind of has, like, I don't know, it's kind of discordant sounding, but. Right. Okay, let's head to the church. So yeah, we have now passed a full week in this game, which, yeah, we're about an hour. It's about, it depends how much you sleep, but every week in this game is about an hour of real time playing. Um, any, let's see, I did bring a new, I can replace one of these headstones with a better one. I don't think I can do that twice. But I have the stamina. I don't need stamina. I've got sandwiches. Okay. Okay. Talk to him. I fixed the graveyard. I was definitely right about you. I pronounce you the keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. Uh, yes, we have now unlocked a church, and now we get to do Sundays every Sunday. Sermons every Sunday. <laughs> Just stand at the pulpit and speak the words. What words? The words. Life, Life before death, death, journey before destination. <laughs> yeah, I will protect those who will not protect themselves. Hey, you can actually say whatever you want. This place isn't so bad. Put on some extra decorations, some nice candles, music, incense, get all night and oiled up for a nice massage. Anyways, this will help you get more faith, and faith is power. So yeah. I didn't know C, oh, C was going to be attending our church. <laughs> okay. So now we're, we've unlocked the church side of this game. We've unlocked a couple things here. So one, every Sunday we can give a, we can give a sermon, so we'll do that today. Uh, hmm, um, may the force be with you. Eh, not too bad. <laughs> My sermon's better. Uh, someone liked it. Yeah. I, I would go for with Polka. Will, Polka will never die, personally, but, um, but yeah. I unlocked the basement, the church basement, where I can do science-y stuff. Um, but yeah, do weekly sermons. When it's not the, the sermons will give you faith. 
which is kind of an important resource. Um, it's used for science and also for various like quest blockers. Also, people will come, they will donate money um, when it's every week after this one. And the quality of your, the quality of your grave and church combines around with money he makes. That's one reason you want to keep improving your graveyard even after you've passed all of the the checks. He will have another quest next week. Unfortunately, he just leaves today, um, which is annoying because I would like to get his other quest started, but now I've got to wait a week. We, we, we have, in fact, played Carol of Bells in the past. I feel like that's scary more in the sense that many many bell ringers are just sick to death of it and it's you know roughly the same reaction you get the first time you hear mariah carry else i want it for christmas is you we are haunted by carol the bells no one else is but we are <laughs> i am one of the few people i think who still likes it after like oh like the, the song that has bells in it play it on the bells there are other songs <laughs> Okay, so we've got down here, we've got science. We will eventually have alchemy, where you make like potions and stuff. That's kind of an annoying mechanic in this game. That's the one thing I think they really could have done better about. Like, that is the game where you go look at Wikipedia because trying to figure the stuff in game is kind of obnoxious. Um, but it, although it, it, it's really close to being a good mechanic. Anyways, so you have to use paper or notes or chapters. That's part of what we will use stories for to get science points. So I'm gonna turn these notes into science. And then you study items. So I'm going to study, I the key is we need to study for a plot point, but we need to get these instructions first. So we need to get those from the snake, I think. Um, but you study other items that you've just, basically everything in this game can be studied. Um, so like blood, uh, different items give different types of science. So, or different types of technology. So the human body stuff gives blue points, which is what we really want. But like if I study, Carrots, it's gonna give me green points. If I study mechanical stuff, it's gonna give me, oh, iron gives you green and red, that's interesting. But yeah, so you can, that, this is a way to get more technology points instead of just doing stuff. And this is kind of the main way you're gonna get blue technology. But it also consumes faith as a resource. So you gotta be a little careful doing it, especially early when you're trying to balance using faith for other stuff. Um, but yeah. Keep the, I usually store my human body parts in this chest. Um, there's a sentence I probably should never again. Uh, let's see, let's throw the books in here. But yeah, there's a lot of different crafting stuff down here we will unlock. We could make a church workshop. No, oh, and I kind of glazed over this, but yeah, you, up, you upgrade the church as well. So we will put in more benches. Um, I can go ahead and unlock that. So a bench, every church bench is gonna cost four nails and six boards, and we can improve our church score that way. Okay, I think, is everything properly sorted into the right chests? Um, I guess I'll drop the faith off here. I'm not gonna need to carry that around. I need five faith to unlock um, Mrs. Charm's plot line, and I need five to unlock the snake's plot line. I'm not sure I'm realistically gonna do need to do either of those, but whatever. Oh, but more importantly, more importantly, um, this puts us one step closer to fishing. I was about to ask, how is um, our fish stick? Oops, okay, I'm actually showing green technology, so it's gonna take a bit. So we're gonna need to get 20 uh, green technology, and I'm not willing to spend faith on that. So we're just gonna go farming and cooking, and it'll get there. Green is, the, green is usually the one I find just kind of stacks up because you get it when you cook, you just, and you don't need it as much. It's not like red where you're constantly like, oh, I really need to upgrade this thing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. Now that we're past the first week and I've hit that deadline, I can be a little, actually I'm gonna go to the, uh, I'm gonna go buy, sell this and buy more lentils because I really like feeling like I'm being efficient when I sleep. I'm kind of an efficiency not you know. So sleeping without lentils just the boost. That just seems to uh, just buy a couple of those. Sell that. I can sell him bread if I want. The people another thing I would appreciate about this game is her is you're limited in what you can sell to who. This isn't like, you know, I can sell anything to any person, but you know, the, the he's not gonna buy my nails. He doesn't need nails. If I wanna sell nails, I have to go to um, the blacksmith. He will buy he will sell them. He will buy and sell nails, because that's what he does. Ooh, I hear the bell for that must be a corpse. Oh, the donkey has showed up, right? The, the, the donkey plot will advance. 
Um, but yeah, this is actually, and this is kind of an underappreciated way to make a good chunk of money, I think, is to sell to the blacksmith. Um, so, sure, get money. But yeah, and as you spell, buy and sell people, their tiers unlock to buy and sell new things. And it does include selling. Sometimes you can't sell something to someone until you've upgraded their tier. Okay, so let's go home. Let's go talk to the the donkey. That's always a fun time. Um, anything else I can cook while I'm standing in front of my fire? Um, I haven't grown any. Eventually, I'm gonna, I think I've got wheat growing so I can make more flour soon. But I don't think I can right now. Okay. That's something I could have bought, I guess, but eh. Okay, go talk to, talk to Donkey. 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 But yes, he is... Donkey. Looks like you're doing all right here. Yep, just opened the church. So now you own everything here. Uh-oh. Congratulations, you're a lucky man. You've acquired all this capital. You work for yourself. You're a true capitalist now. So reward has no reward for a hardworking donkey like me. Um, I cannot call you comrade any longer. Oh no! Here's a little present just for you. He did leave the corpse in, yes. So you can actually, you can you can clean this up and get like carrot seeds from it, but actually, let me put this corpse for a second. Some people, the, 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 the gamer, the, the pro gamer stressed to not clean it up because you actually get a bit of a speed boost when you walk through it. It gives you like this like <laughs> sliding mechanic to it, but you are going faster. So, so the pro strat, which I'm going to follow, is to leave that there and, and enjoy the speed boost. So yeah, yeah it is a little present. So, so how, how considerate of you. But he will come back with specific demands before... Okay, Ooh, this is actually a decent one. So I'm gonna try to just pull the fat. Uh -huh. And the blood. Because those are the two that improve the, oh, and that worked. So I actually have a perfect body here. So I could, I'm still tempted. I think I still will take the flesh. Though. Can I be a communist corpse handler instead? So actually, there's multiple DLC to this game. The only one I've actually played is the one where you open up a, a bar and you sell alcoholic beverages, and then I think you unlock a bit of backstory for everyone. I think there is actually a DLC where you uh, like have the, the communist revolution or something. I haven't played it, but that's I've heard I've heard that the donkey's communist plans are part of a DLC. Oops, my shovel, oh, my shovel broke. Dang it. Uh, oh, tools can break in this game. Yeah, that is why they give you a whetstone, and so, which, I, okay, where is, Every, Everyone's oh. favorite Breath of the Wild mechanic. Yeah, I know, it, it's, it's actually, should I even bother with this? You can, I can eventually, yeah, I think it's worth doing this. I would like to have real tools, so that needs anvil, okay, wooden anvil works. Okay, I'll click on that one more time, just to make sure. I can actually make a good shovel. Ah, uh, sticks? Okay. Um. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Curse is foiled again. Okay. Fix the old shovel. Ah! Out of stamina. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Eat a sandwich to... Have you seen that? It's, what is it? Not Breaking Bad, but it's the same actor. It's the... He, he, he finds something broken. So he, he finds the light bulb is broken, so he goes to get a new light bulb and finds that the garage door is annoying. He, he, he ends up under the car. It, it, I'm, I'm butchering this, but that's how this game feels like sometimes. Of You have one thing you want to do, but there's 12 other things in your way of doing that thing. But that, basically, I'm saying it's a crafting game. That's how every crafting game ends up being. Yeah. So if you like crafting games, this is a good crafting game. If you don't like crafting games... Get the heck away! It's this is not your game. Um, I, I use I describe it as Stardew Valley like, but you really have to have a tolerance or an appreciation for crafting games to enjoy this one. Okay, what am I gonna do with this a little bit of stamina that I have? Probably. Uh, oh yeah, I was gonna bury that corpse. Whoops! Sometimes you lose the plot of what you're doing. Wee! <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's, it's, it's faster. Poop strats. Yep. Okay. Finish digging the corpse grave. So before it rots on me. Because you do lose points on quality. Um, let's see. I've got some gravestones in here. You know, I, what, what's it in the ground? It seems like you shouldn't really be able to tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah, that is an interesting. Well, yeah, that's what the, the game's explanation is. It's the sins and virtues. You can tell if it's a bunch of bad people buried in your graveyard. I guess I don't know. 
Okay, this is the male, which is weirdly talkative and instant. Um, congratulating me on opening the church. I am now a subject of royal laws. I don't actually own this. Um, all surface land and buildings that sit no deeper than one royal leap and four royal spit as dictated by the ancient contract belong to the royal family into the town. And through the mailbox. Uh, King Joe Seven. It's probably a joke in there that I'm not getting. Um, but yeah, so I can buy the ability to dig up graves, which costs a bit more than it costs to actually I got from burying them. So you don't want to do that a ton. Let's see, I can spend 10 cents to become a citizen. So the royal stamp that lets me sell meat, I could buy it for 50. We're not going to do that. We're going to get the cheap one. Um, building permission, this will be useful later. I can ex spend my, expand my church. That costs 20 silver. So this is, this is where you've got some of your... Uh, your money sinks to become a rightful citizen will cost three silver i could do that i'll probably wait until i have a reason to um let's see aristocrat i'm opening this just to show you the symbol on the aristocrat papers it's nice nice zelda reference but yeah that's 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 a slight progression mechanic oh yeah and i'm burning daylight here when i should be sleeping Maybe King Joe 7 is a reference to King Joe from the TV series Ultra 7, who is an alien robot. It could be. I guess it could be Joe King. Ah, uh, let's see. If anyone ever read the comic Earth World, um, they, their king was uh, King... Saline the fourth or saline ivy they were very proud of that uh that pun okay, cook some meat so how are we doing on the matching incentive i have i was say there i'm not as we got up to to 22 and then it uh, sort of died off i guess i guess people aren't interested in seeing our cat that's true they don't know what they're missing he, this is, is also true. He is an excellent cat. Okay. Um, today, let's see. I'm, I can't talk to Mrs. Char. Regardless if you want to see the cat, though, you should keep donating the $8 because matches are very powerful. Okay, I really need to build this chest here. I'm sick of carrying it. Okay, this chest is going to... Sorry, trunk. Okay, I need two more simple iron parts. Look at that. You do eventually get speed potions that make you run faster, but that's pretty late game. It's the same. This is not my... In Stardew Valley, I'm notorious for just... As soon as I can make coffee, I make coffee. And I have coffee constantly because it makes you run slightly faster. I am maybe not the most patient person in the world. So, like, things like making run speed faster is always highest on my priority list. How excited were you in Gen 2 when they introduced running shoes? Oh yeah, never go back. <laughs> I was probably a little more patient as a child. Maybe. Also, just being on a constant drip of coffee is just sort of accurate to you in real life. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's, I'm not really a role player, but sometimes I role play by accident. Okay. As long as I know where all the meat you're feeding me comes from. Eh. I mostly respect it. I mostly respect expiration dates. <laughs> expiration suggestions. Yeah! I heard a noise. <laughs> a dollar from Just Cause it says, after all, why not? Why shouldn't I make money, man? Money, man, match my donation again. After all, all why not is a good is a good reference. Thank you. Okay, I'm just short on seeds for all of the categories, so I guess I'm actually I'll keep these with me. I'm gonna go buy more seeds. Um, we're gonna walk to the town. Ditch our say hello to Mrs. Charm. She will still not yeah. speak to me. But if I have five faiths, she will. So I'll we'll work on it. This this is a real bottleneck part of the game where you need faith early on because, well, you know, it comes your opportunity to get faith comes once a week, and you know it's it's 
unless you just want to sleep through the weeks. Actually, you can't you can't just sleep through the weeks, but you can you can build a stone garden and meditate. Um, so if you really want to get through this game and like speedrun strats in terms of real world time, I bet that is actually the strat is to make the the stone garden and just meditate so you can have lots of church services in the row. I presume those are other people's fields you're walking through, and you can't just steal yes. the crops. Yes. <laughs> I don't look like much of a farmer. You're right. I'm not much of a farmer. Oh, he, oh, right. I forgot you've got to say that to get the, the cooking. Okay, whoops. They have some random spots where you get recipes and stuff like that. I did practice, I promise. Okay. Buy more seeds. Theoretically, if, if we were trying to advance the merchant, we'd want to have 12 of each. And you can do that in the first week, but I just don't bother. Because as soon as you unlock the merchant, he's going to ask for, like... I think he asks for the papers next, and it's and then he'll... It's, it, before you can actually get anything useful from the merchant, you're quite a way down his quest line. So I'm probably not going to bother. His, his quest line is pretty fun, because eventually you start selling stuff. Um, which... I may, I said, I'm still thinking I might jump to a different pile, which, speaking of, we go till five. Okay, we've got half hour left. I was about to say, say. We might want to, we might want to transition over to, let's see, how close are we on to some of the cat? Because we want some of the cat, we should do that before transitioning to story time. Uh, I mean, uh, hold on, I'm just going to wait for the overlay to load so I don't have to do math. I think we're like $20 away. Okay, guys, twenty dollars real soon, and we'll 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 summon a cap. Otherwise, we'll say okay, twenty five dollars for ten ten minutes from now. Start story time. Yeah, that works. Okay. Please summon cap. Up oh, here's the donkey. He's a good boy. He, he now has demands. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. Donkey deserves more carrots. <laughs> Rhyming is hard. He's a donkey. He would... He's on strike. <laughs> I'm tired of being oppressed and I'm not bringing you any more corpses, not for free. I've listened to demands. First, better working conditions, grease the wheels for a change. I can't keep listening to the squeak. Second, I need a day off. Which is funny because he only, like, delivers them half the days anyways. So yeah, he want five carrots in a box. Okay. But more importantly, more importantly, I think we've got enough. Um, oh, okay, and Funny Man does say the matching will only be good for another 20 minutes, so that this is a this spot, this game only deal, so get in your your powerful money matches now. Donate, donate to get matched money, donate to see if a big fluffy orange cat, donate to make me happier while I'm reading the book. Okay, um... We need to get going on this fish sticks percent. I've actually never been blocked by this before, but I'm actually short on green tech, tech points. Um, I think I can, I think if I rummage through the bushes over here, that'll get me the ones I need. Um, yeah. More pink mushrooms. Yeah, okay, good. I mean, this is just a sign you're a true speedrunner because I, this has never happened before, I swear, is a rite of patch passage. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so now I've unlocked the technology for moths. Um, let me just do the real strat of warp home to not walk 30 feet. <laughs> um, now we pick flowers at night, and this is where the RNG really shines, because it's like a one in four chance. Ooh, see, that's a good start. Moth on, ooh, moth on two, moth on two. Okay, and then let's wait. It, it, it's, it's, okay, this is going better. I've had, I've had much worse runs. Okay, it's, it's making it up. Sometimes I pick like 20 flowers and still need more moths. I might even do this in, I thought it was gonna take a second night for this. It might still, especially since I don't have the bridge open. I might need to warp into town. I think there's more flowers there. Okay, I can get sand here eventually. I haven't unlocked the technology of sand because that's gated behind continuing the church plot line. Well, I have to make sure you're, you're sufficiently qualified to handle it after all it's rough and uncomfortable and gets, gets everywhere it. okay so here we go here's where i've pulled up six flowers okay there we go moth number five one more one more one more there we go moths um and i guess i can keep pulling because i do want a couple for eight 
Wow. Okay. That's... Oh, right. You'll actually need some fish to do the fish sticks run, won't you? Yep, that's why we're getting a fish. Okay, and I can eat the flowers for food and to get them out of my inventory. Actually, I want to put them down here just real quick. I'm in the Yep, it's flower eating. Everyone's favorite. Lighthouse. Oh, he's not here yet. Curses. The fact there is a very short but noticeable, there is a timeout on the teleporting, which is, it's like, it's it's so short that I sometimes wonder why they bothered, but it does make it annoying when you do this, where you teleport and realize, oh, I forgot something, or he's not here yet. Um, yeah, there's berries over here, but. There's Ooh. one. There's Another one. match, closer to the cat. $8 from Joey, who does in fact say, cat. Okay. You know what? I am realizing that I, the way I set this goal is like just over a dollar more than two matches. So let me go adjust that super fast so that two matches will get us there. Because that just seems like a teasing dog at this point. Okay, let's sleep a bit. So, uh... Oh, you should be much longer. Yeah, that tracks. I think it probably was longer when I played it. I played this game, and this was like my quarantine game I played in 2020. And it, it did, I was a little surprised this time when I played it, because I remember being able to teleport like twice a day. Oh, do you see that timing? Hey. Do you see that timing? Okay. Aha, we have acquired a fishing rod. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, he'll buy fish for me, but uh, who cares? We are. Ooh, I just put stuff in my oven. That's gonna be a blocker. But we're, we're, we're closing in on the fish six percent. I hope someone's been timing me in chat. That definitely, because it's definitely a legit speed run. <laughs> we also are closing in on the cat. We just need two eight dollar matches. We'll get us big orange fluffy kitty. This is a timed thing. You have six minutes to do two eight dollar donations, or no cat. Okay, guys. It's it's it's. Okay, there we go. Fishing spot. It's fishing time. So one nice thing is so you can select what bait, which I guess I don't. I didn't actually get any extra f bait, but you don't need it. But it'll show you what the per what fish are available in each region and what the percentage is. So if I cast deep, I'm always going to get the same fish. Um, let me, sorry, I don't know if I could. The, the timing of the... It's kind of annoying. It's, it's not very, it's not very, there it goes. It's a very- Ah, uh, that is a bit more subtle, yeah. It's subtle, and actually, the last time I played this, I had forgotten what it was like. So I was like, I, I it looks like it kind of the nibble before, like, I'm used to games that has nibble, 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 bite, and you're waiting for the bite, but it really is just like a nibble. And so I, I stood here for like two minutes, like, when is this fish gonna bite? And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, I, right, I'm an idiot. But yeah, so like I said, not start a value at all. Definitely, it's definitely a unique fishing mechanic. We have eight dollars from Dino giving us the punchline to the question. You know what's funnier than twenty four? Twenty five, because that was in fact our twenty fifth match. Let's see if we can get one more, one more to get the big fluffy orangey good boy. He is a such a good boy. There are several team members who have met our kitty. Hipster and Inga have seen our kitty and. Broken and Alyssa have seen our kitty. All of them can verify he is a verbal boy. In case you do not take you know, our word for it as his parents. <laughs> How many fish do you need for fish sticks? Um, not that many. I think I just want to fish everything out of this spot. And there's two types of, I'm gonna be annoyed if I forget if I get the wrong type of fish. There's two types of this like white meat and red meat. The other thing I need is oil, but thankfully the guy who sells oil is the crazy guy right here. Um, which also he needs it for the, one of the two demands the donkey had was oil, so you need two bottles of it. Which this was this was a blocker when I first played this game. It is really not obvious that the main way you get oil is to come to this guy and buy it for cheap. So I was like looking way down the tech tree, and oil is like here. I'm like, there's no way, I, and I, so I went the entire game without corpses because I didn't, and again, the Google is your friend in this game, unfortunately. If you remember anything about this run, and play, if you're going to play this game, buy the Teleport Stone, uh, buy oil from him, 
get the fish sticks. All right, we did get one more $8 donation from Just Connect saying kitty, which does in fact mean I am going to go fetch a kitty. Okay. I will be right back. Hang on, hang on, oh well. Okay, I think that's, I think I can complete the fish sticks percent if we wanna, if we wanna have closure. I'll double check. Okay. Unless I have the wrong type of I fish. mean, we can do things in... I guess. You can in go... many orders. <laughs> I'm fetching the kitty. Okay. But I suspect he's still sleeping. Yeah, he's about to have a rude awakening for charity. <laughs> Aha. Okay, they do have to cook. So let's get those fish sticks on the, on the grill. And the seed oil. I'll go ahead and deliver some donkey while we wait. Here he has the wharf rats. Okay, let me switch oh, to cool. having a camera. Hello. We exist. And here is the here is boy. Linus. Oh, he is. He is uh, freshly awoken from a nap. Oops. 19. Oh, sorry. Come back. 19, 20 pounds of, of floof and, and laziness and... He's, he's, I mean, as, as our most orange cat. 19 pounds is probably being a little generous, honestly. It's. Well, yeah, I said 19 or 20. I'm hoping not have more than 20. <laughs> we'll find out at the next bit of appointment. As with most orange cats, he is sort of the animal equivalent of a, of a himbo. <laughs> he, he, he's very lovable. He's very friendly. He's not so bright. That's okay. He's got his looks going for him. He is, he is all the cat. He is good. Right. So much cat. Linus. Hello. Buddy, look in the camera. Come Hello. on, come on. Make eye contact. <laughs> yeah, there, there we go. go. <laughs> you have been acknowledged. Okay, thank you for... And with that, we have... Operating. Fish sticks percent. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay. So that, that has been our completely not made up speed run. Um, we are going to... I mean, I'm going to keep playing. It's going to still be open, but we're going to switch over to story time. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and I may be back. We'll see how it times out. Yeah. Well, I, I'll still be talking. I, I don't shut up. Not over the book, you won't. You shut up. Okay, I will go ahead and read that donation very quick. Uh, that was $8 from AB. One of my favorite picture book, or uh, children's authors, by the way. Uh, who says... 27! Wow, what a coincidence! That was my age four years ago! What what a coincidence indeed. Alright, who is ready for The Adventures of the Princess and Mr. Whiffle? Nobody the is thing ready. under the bed. Well, yes, this is this is true. Also, maybe we should have saved the cat for last, because now he's going to want to investigate Donation Station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wander on, buddy. Okay, we are playing with the... Yeah, slideshow! Today, we decided not to fight with a webcam today. We decided to give y'all the ability to actually see the pictures because there may be some details in here that we want to reference later. All right. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a marzipan castle. She lived there all alone. Except for Mr. Whiffle, who didn't count because he was only a teddy bear. And the thing under the bed. Ooh. Mr. Whiffle was the princess's best friend. They spent all their time together and had many fabulous adventures. They found buried treasure by the old stump. They defeated the Black Duke's Rebellion at the Battle of Bainbridge. Victory came at a great price. The princess was sore wounded and Sir Whiffle was forced to take terrible revenge. They fought Greenbeard the pirate and defeated him. Though in the heat of battle, Mr. Whiffle was nearly drowned and was only saved thanks to the princess's quick thinking. But when her daytime adventures were over, the princess always returned to her marzipan castle. After she had dinner and washed her face, she and Mr. Whiffle went to bed. But 
they were not alone. The princess had never seen the thing under the bed because it didn't like the lights. During the daytime when the bright sun was out, it hid in the deep shadows under the bed. It even hid at night when the lamps were lit. That's why the princess always kept a candle burning. But some nights when it was stormy out, there were drafts in her room. And then the thing didn't need to hide anymore. The princess had never seen the thing, but she knew what it was like. It had great white eyes that could see in the dark and a great wide mouth for tasting things. It had thin, flat lips and a wide, flat tongue. Its skin was greenish, grayish, brownish. The skin thought it was prickly like a nettle or scaly like a fish or slimy like a frog but it was actually soft like velvet. So the thing never made any noise at all when it moved. The princess knew it had great big hands with great long fingers and its long, long arms had an extra elbow so it could reach out from under the bed. Reach up then bend to reach the top of the bed and tickle the princess silly! Yay! Ending the first. And this is where you stop if you want a cute book. We are not stopping, we're moving on. One day, a package arrived for the princess. The princess loved the kitten. She and Mr. Whipple spent a long time trying to decide what his name should be. The princess wanted to call him Mr. Mutton Chop because of how he smelled. Mr. Whiffle wanted to call him Moloch because of his pointy, pointy claws. Poor teddy bear. Good cat name. They compromised by calling him M.M. or Emmy for short. But then Emmy got lost. He wasn't in their treasure mine or in the old cave. Mr. Whiffle suggested they look in the river, but Emmy wasn't there either. They knew he couldn't get over the wall or past the gate. They looked everywhere, but they still hadn't found Emmy by dinner time. That night, the princess couldn't sleep. Thinking about her lost kitten made her tummy hurt. Even worse, her candle was short. And the night was long. And her tummy hurt. Then the princess heard a noise from under the bed. She knew it couldn't be the thing because it never made any noise, except sometimes a soft velvety rustle. The noise sounded familiar to the princess. It was like the sound an animal would make if it wanted to cry out, but it was muffled and quiet. Then the noise stopped and the princess heard a soft velvety sound, like something was reaching and bending reaching and bending. Then something wet and warm fell on her face. Drip, drip, drip. Then Mother Moon came out from behind a cloud and the princess saw what the thing was holding. Ending the second. All right, guys, glad you raised money for the finishing it. a big piece of marzipan. It was sticky and drippy because the thing had been eating it. He wanted to share and be friends. He was already friends with Emmy. They had been playing under the bed all day. Emmy had been trying to call to the princess, but he couldn't 
He'd been eating marzipan with the thing and his little kitten mouth was all gummed up. When he tried to mew, it came out but now they were together again. And now that the princess had met the thing, she wasn't scared anymore. And so the princess ate them. And there was nothing left but sticky bones. Hang on, I don't think they appreciate this painting. Let's go back for a bit. Just, just, just drink it, drink it in. Look, it's you. It's you uh, <laughs> eating the stuff off of the bodies. <laughs> okay, I already read that page. So she and Mr. Whiffle made a fort out of them. And had tea. Ending and the third. third. <laughs> And definitely a normal kids book that you would definitely read to small children and not traumatize them. Uh, just right? Waiting for the reactions to roll. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking this is a, this is an annoying twist ending, but the, but the hints were there. The hints were there. She lived in this castle all by herself and is cook, cooking an interesting meal there. Um. Let's see. She, oh, the stuff she's digging up. So, yeah, you know, there's, there's some bones in there. Uh, there's, there's a side story in the background of the results of this rebellion. Uh, the terrible revenge. You can see it a little bit in the background here. Some 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 animal uh, heads on pikes. That's, yep. that's, that's great. <laughs> um, but with the real, let's see. Not alone, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, not so much this bit. Let's see. Sorry, I can't make it go any faster than it's going. Right. We used to get to the beginning of it's the second. kitten it's section. It's the second part. The, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Someone, uh, Dino has noticed the wall yeah. spikes. Oh, well, so, yeah, no, so, so, so that dude is legging it. He is not <laughs> wanting to be anywhere near this. Um, she decided to name him Mutton Chop because of how he smelled. <laughs> ah, my favorite tasty food. Um, the, some of those armor have, you know, bites in them. Um, oh, There's yeah. another rebellion uh, Yeah, being victim. picked at. Yeah, the, the, the wall spikes po poked in. Uh, the gate is locked. From the outside. But yeah, made her tummy hurt. Because she hadn't found, found the Found him kitten. by <laughs> dinner time. So yeah, it's, 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 it's fun. Oh, that's, that's also a good point, Dino, that she knew what the sound of an animal crying out for help sounded like. Yep. <laughs> was apparently very familiar with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 I've been wanting to her to read this story for a while, and I was glad to have an excuse, honestly. I don't think we could get away with that at normal zone <laughs> I would say, you can't, it's, 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 it's spooky. It's spooky. It's, very it long. was appropriate, yeah. You can't complete. This segment was definitely not an excuse for me to have her read that. It definitely wasn't the plan. <laughs> Okay, um, we've, so I've got about 10 minutes left, if I'm reading my schedule correctly. Yes, I believe so. Uh, I guess I will go ahead and just jump over briefly to my other file that is not super far. It's one of the practice files. Um, oh, the game only saves when you sleep, so I just lost some progress there. But this one, so we played nine days-ish, I think. Or... Donation station went to sleep, and I need you to wake it up. Oh, sorry. Let me <laughs> unlock. Uh, there we go. Okay, thank you. This one I played it's several weeks. I've gotten a couple more things unlocked. No, it's, it's no, it was a normal teddy bear, as far as I know. Okay, let's see. So the things going on. My favorite feature this game has, which is which is really clever. Um, let me. Let's go walk this way and find one. There's apparently a sequel to that book, which I haven't read. I was about to say, the fact that it had, like... I think Like, it had a subtitle. Usually they give subtitles to books when they're like, I want to leave the possibility of additional books in this series as an option. Right. Which is definitely what Patrick Roth should be writing right now, and nothing else. He should definitely be writing more. You know, honestly, I don't think I would complain. Okay, <laughs> so here we've got... Uh, we didn't go... He's publishing something. So eventually you get the ability to reanimate corpses and make zombies out of them. Oh boy. And the zombies are used for automation, which is great. 
So like I need you know that meant I was doing that annoying collecting of wood, but what you can do is you can set one zombie to whack at this tree, and then another zombie you can put here, and they will carry the wood back to my base. But hey, stop. Thank you. Um, by the way, you, you can teleportations don't. Excuse me. Oh, there it is. Sorry, can't, can't see it. You can teleport stuff, which is handy. Um, but you can also, and you can also put them like at crafting stations and they will craft. It's slow. You can see they have a work efficiency and that's based on the quality of the corpse that you reanimated. So it actually is a reason to like, you know, look for a good corpse. You can actually take them and take them and bring them over to the table. And yes, I, I I have left the present there. I can still 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 get speed. Um, you can actually you can modify them. So I, I did remove the blood and the fat from this one because that made it more efficient. To, and you can actually eventually unlock chemicals that can can improve them other ways. Ooh, that's a quality. Zombie automation is, I don't believe it's DLC. I believe it was added with the first DLC, but I think it is based game content. But I, that is a good point. I could be wrong about that, but I think I think it was added at the same time as the first DLC. All right, that was Match from Funny Man, slightly rounded up for fun donation sound. Thank you, Funny Man, Thank $261. You. And we will be getting another one of those shortly, probably from Google as well. That will give our... Our donation a, a nice boost and I believe that will put us within like thirteen hundred dollars of uh, the third go kart so uh -huh. getting close yeah so the other thing this is the merchants bit um, so the merchant eventually you, you get um, the ability to make these crates that he will sell every week so this is a pretty efficient way to make money I mean I'm gonna actually fill one up um, you've got choices. You can sell various vegetables. I think I'm just going to do the lots of nails crate because that one's pretty easy. But activate. Okay. You do eventually get to the point where inventory space gets a little annoying because you do run out of space in your main chests. Of course, I'm carrying random stuff here for no reason, so I have no idea. Don't mind me. What's the best food you can make in your um, later game one? Hmm. One nice thing is because of the perks, it, it isn't as much of a, like, there is a single best food that is the best in all cases. I've been making lasagna, which makes axes and pickaxes more efficiently. Um, the, you can make cake, which is important because that helps your research better from the science. Um, but yeah, in general, I mean, I've made hamburgers now, which are, which are fun. But yeah, I don't know. I'd actually, I actually, and this is mid game. I I, pl I played into the late game of this game like again two years ago, so I've kind of forgotten a lot about it. But um, eventually, you can make energy potions directly, which can be efficient. Okay, I'm making a box of goods here, and it's gonna go out of energy. Um, down the elevator. Up. Oh, there's a. There's a little... And there is the match from Google, $261, which gets us, we have blown past 9,000. Woo! <laughs> all right, thank you everyone who, I mean, obviously, funny man and Google, but y'all yep. all who donated, like, you, you, the, the match does not happen without something to match. You made this happen too. Thank you so much for your donations. Thank you for giving us an excuse to read you a slightly traumatizing picture book and a, uh... uh the change, perhaps. Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, he, he, I didn't get to tell him in time that there was a 27th match, so right, funny man tossed that, that extra 2002 in there to, to make up for, for 80s, uh, $8. Yeah! Yep, and Kay Moogle's pointing out the DLC names. Breaking Dead, Stranger Sins, Game of Crone, and Better Save Soul. They're, 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 oh, they're those very, are very good. They're, they're clever with the DLC names. Because I've only played, I think Breaking Dead would be the one I've played. Like I say, it, and now I don't even have it going in this file. Unfortunately, I lost my, in, in the great hardware, hard drive death of the last 
marathon I participated in, I lost some save files, including that one. But oh, right. but that one did I had the bar going in that one. Which I I don't know. I I found it. I I think the re starting that DLC is why I didn't actually finish the game is because I was it added enough content that I actually by the time I was ready to finish the game I was kind of ready to move on to something else. But I am also a notoriously distractible person, so like I tend to not play games for long. Like I tend to, to play a game for a while and then move on to something else. So that might not be about the game. That might be about me. But oh, yeah, I forgot. I just haven't bothered you to play Persona 5 in a while. Oh yeah. I have also have a stack of RPGs that I get 90% of the way through and then never finish. Um, it's great. I bought Kingdom Hearts 3 and I've never touched it because I was trying to replay the previous ones and never finished it. Um, okay, so I've got a wine press down here. One thing I did, also didn't get a chance to highlight is there's these different quality levels. Um, so there's, I have copper, the, the base stuff like I was growing like carrots and cabbages don't have quality levels. But other stuff does. Um, so like grapes have quality levels, which makes, which when you craft affects things. So if I pick um, the copper grapes, I'm gonna get a copper bucket out. If I pick the silver grapes, I'm gonna get a silver bucket out. Um, so I'll just go ahead and do that. That's kind of, it's affected by different perks you have and different buffs from food. But then some stuff is more probabilistic. So if I'm gonna make wine, I need to use two pails of grapes, of, of grape juice. So I use, both coppers, I'll have a 50% chance of getting copper quality, a 50% chance of getting just a zero, no quality item. Um, but if I use silver, if I use one silver, one copper, I'll definitely get a copper quality. And if I use two silvers, I will get a 50% chance of getting silver quality. Um, and then again, there's perks that improve this. So if I get the wine master perk, that'll give me some percentage bonus. Um, so it's a nice little system. It makes getting higher quality stuff useful. The one complaint I have is that when it's quality based, you can't actually mass produce it. So I've got to make this lasagna one batch at a time. I kind of wish they would put a little like, I, w I wish I could mass produce this, but they don't let me. So that's, that's, that's my one gripe about the quality system is it means more tedium for, 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 for baking stuff. Hi, new here's a speed run marathon. Yeah, you just missed the fish six percent speed run. Uh, no, it's not really a speed run marathon. It's generally a. I mean, I'd love to see Joey uh, speed run carve some pumpkins later. Yeah, we do. We, we do have some. There are some speed runs. We had a Animaniacs speed run earlier. We have um, Supersonic tends to do speed runs on, on these channels, but yeah, most games are not speed runs. And heaven knows this was not a speed run. We, we play fun percent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm down to a minute. So I thank you for coming. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you for donating for Gamers Outreach. Um, enjoy. I, I haven't heard them get kicked off, but I'm going to start talking as if I will anyways. Um, enjoy the rest of the marathon. We are wrapping up here. This is the, the final day. Uh, what's up next? Uh, Metroid. It Metroid. Metroid uh, Fusion. Ah. With Ryan have... Ford, which is a speedrun. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we do have a speedrun coming up. Is that with Gannon? No, yeah. Gannon does the one after. Okay. Ryan Ford. Ryan Ford. Stick around. Watch more side quests. Yep. Don't be traumatized by books. Yep, that, 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 thank, thanks, that, thanks for being here. Thanks for allowing me to get that story read on air. Take thanks again to Funny Man. Cut us off whenever, chat. Or not chat, tech. Whoever does this. Ah, it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. We are at least within 40 seconds of not being cut off. Tech! Tech, help us escape! 